Hey guys, what is up? It is me, the Yellow Penguin, and today I'm going to show you guys something that is kind of interesting. So, on Windows 10, 8, 8.1, and 11, you can customize your lock screen. However, on Windows Vista and 7, this is your default lock screen. Obviously, if you have an OEM, it can be different, and you're like, and you could be thinking, hmm, I want to have a different background or an OEM background. How do I do that? Well, today, I'm going to be explaining that. Now, here are some precautions. Your wallpaper must be less than 256 kilobytes in order for it to work. For example, this wallpaper right here is, is um, 190 kilobytes, which will work, as you can see if I open that up. This other example right here, not only is it a PNG, it's, it's one megabyte. The fi your file must also be a JPEG, so you should convert your file. So this file, for example, will not work for our, for our thing. Now, to get started, you need to do some commands in Registry Editor. To get to Registry Editor, all you gotta type is reg... Oh. All you gotta do is type reg edit into cmd, or into the run dialog box, and then you get a pop-up. Just click yes. Next up, you need to go to h, h key local machine, as you can see here. Then you need to go to software, Microsoft, Windows, let's find Windows. Windows, current version. Authentication and log on UI and then background. You do not need to add anything here. All you gotta do is find your OEM background and make the value one. And that's it. Now I can close registry editor. Next up we need to go to my computer. Then we need to now open the C drive, click organize folder and search options, view, click show hidden files and folders, and uncheck hide operating system files. Click yes, then click apply, and okay. We will disable, we will disable this after, because these are important system files. Next up, now we need to open Windows, and system 32. Then we need to find O O B E. So if you press O on the keyboard, it will probably jump to somewhere similar as you see right here. Open that. Now you need to make a folder. We need to create a new folder called info. This folder is not made by default or it shouldn't be, but you need to create it. In info, you need to create a new folder. Give it permission, all permissions it needs. Click allow. Then you need to type background. In that folder, now you can put in your wallpaper. Yet again, give it permission. And you have to rename your background to background default. Oh, it's all default wrong. You need to rename it to background default like this. It needs to be like this, lowercase back background no space default capital D continue and now when you lock your machine you now have this very you now have your very own cool personal wallpaper as your lock screen this does not affect anything in Windows other than just changing your lock screen to make it look cool now let's go ahead and hide the desktop things so that you don't accidentally delete them go back to organize folder and other option, I forgot what it's called. Click don't show hidden files or folders and recheck high protected operating system files. If you already had show hidden files and folders enabled and you want it enabled, keep it like that. That does not show system files, that shows hidden files. Let me click apply it and add that. Now, as you can see on the desktop, None of our things are still, none of those desktop INIs are still there. However, when we still lock the machine, it's still there. 
Let's confirm it's still there by rebooting the virtual machine. And I'll be doing a force restart due to um, updates. So now as we reboot, as you can see, it's not booting up. As you can see, logging in, look at that. Now you have your very cool wallpaper on the, the on the lock screen. So now every single time you go to log into your computer, or shut down, reboot, or lock it, you will see that wallpaper. Now yet again, we just talked about the limitations. However, if your file is less than 256 kilobytes, your end your options are endless with choosing a very cool Windows 7 background. And as you can see, now we have started it up. And our computer has worked perfectly and our computer works perfectly fine. So that is it for this video this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know other video ideas in the future. I am always open to suggestions. If you liked this video, leave a like, tell, comment your favorite part in the, in the comment section. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> I did not. Okay, cool. I didn't know that thing did that. Why does that say that?